So since you guys liked the video where I shared 13 things that I stopped buying so much, I thought why not create an inverse of that and share with you 13 things that I do buy that in fact make me money. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and comment something down below that you've bought that have saved you money recently or in the past couple of years. And the first thing on that list is Bitcoin. And the reason it's first is because it's both the highest return investment and the riskiest investment that you can make. And the reason I say that is that there's still a very likely possibility that you could lose all your money, but there's also a very high possibility that you could make a lot of money from your investment. Let me give you an example. If you invested $500 in Bitcoin just three years ago, you would have close to $5,000 right now. That's a 10x investment. No other investment strategy on the market will bring you that kind of return unless of course you start some kind of business. If you invested that same $500 in 2015, you would have close to $15,000 right now. And finally, if you invested that $500 in 2012, you would have a million dollars right now. And that is just insane to think about. There's literally nothing else that you can invest your money in that'll make you those kind of returns. So with every little bit of extra cash that I'm willing to lose because it could go to zero, I invest in Bitcoin or a range of other cryptocurrencies as well. For example, Chainlink that I invested $1,000 in just two months ago and have now more than doubled that investment. Of course, it's completely up to you to do your own investment research and find out which product or which cryptocurrency you want to invest in. But if you want to play it safe, invest in the top two big boys, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and just hold them for a few years. Even if you invest $10, who knows what it could be worth? Like I said, you could 1000 times your investment. And what is throwing one lunch away with the potential of buying yourself a thousand lunches one day? The next thing is education. Now, obviously we know how important education is in the traditional sense, but I'm not talking about going to college or university. I'm talking about investing in your own knowledge or something that you're interested in, in building some form of skill, whether that's by hiring a coach, a mentor, some sort of instructor, a therapist, a consultant, or just buying an online course or reading a book. These are all things that will make your life so much more valuable and bring you so much more money that you can't even imagine it right now. I continually buy new books. I continually take new online courses. I try and do absolutely everything I can to get new knowledge into my head and make myself more valuable as a knowledge worker. There are so many people out there that can do so many different things that you need to somehow make yourself so valuable that you are the only personal one of very few people who can do a very particular job. And if you can do that for other people and you can prove that you know what you're doing, you will be able to make so much more money than you're making right now. And that takes us on to the next thing, which is investing in business and entrepreneurship. Now, I don't necessarily mean just simply starting your own business and leaving your life behind and starting something brand new, but I mean looking at other possibilities that can make you money. Now, not everybody is born an entrepreneur and just knows how to start a business and make it successful. The fact is that 50% of businesses fail in the first year and within the first five years, 96% of those businesses fail. So what I'm saying is don't quit your day job just yet, but if you are working nine to five, it's very easy for you to plan out your life and predict what sort of income you'll have and how much money you'll have in a few years time. And sure, if that's what you wanna do, you can go ahead and do that. But personally for me, I really want to constantly up level and improve my life and improve my lifestyle and get to a point where I have generational wealth that I can pass on to further generations. And if that's something that you you want to do, I'd suggest starting some sort of side hustle or at least looking into other possibilities that can bring you multiple sources or multiple streams of income. Because as we know, all the wealthiest people in the world all have multiple streams of income. That's not just one stream of income that is bringing them all of their money. Although a few streams of income may bring in the majority of that income, by adding more to that, it's always safer as well. In case one of those streams of income somehow falls to the ground or fails, you've got multiple others keeping you afloat. Next up are journals. Now, I buy a lot of journals. As you guys know, you've seen the videos on my channel where I speak about my journaling strategy and what I do to get my ideas out of my head onto paper and then into the real world as actual projects. I think journaling can be incredibly, incredibly important. And spending $10 on a journal to get your ideas onto paper and jot down your goals and jot down what sort of plan you have for your life can be invaluable. If you write down your goals and you then move towards them every single day, reading them every single morning will help you achieve them. So often in the past, I would come up with an idea or be constantly distracted by new ideas and new business opportunities and new things that catch my eye. 
as we call it, shiny object syndrome and sort of get distracted from my main path. But as soon as I start writing those things down and sticking to them long term, they then develop and grow and become something that is actually worth doing rather than just many different ideas that don't actually materialize into any real sort of idea or something that can be quantified. But writing those things down, keeping track, taking stock of your life will help you improve and make a lot more money that way as well. So journals, do not forget them. Number five is tools and equipment. Now, this might seem simple, but it is actually a very essential thing that you should have. And by this, I mean something very simple, like a simple toolbox that you can use to repair things around your house and get things done wherever you are. Often we end up calling people to come and repair our pool, repair our pipes and our plumbing, repair windows, repair simple things that is just an absolute waste of money. Sure, I understand these people need to work and these are their livelihoods, these are their jobs. But if you can save a little bit more money, go ahead and do that. It, sometimes it doesn't take too much effort to fix the simple things around your house. Of course, if something is a little bit more complex and you need to hire somebody to do that, go ahead and do that. But if you can become some sort of a simple handyman on your own and just fix things that need to be fixed right then and there, buy a toolbox, you don't need a lot of stuff and you don't have to buy it right up front, buy the entire thing. If something goes wrong, buy a screwdriver here, a hammer here, a pack of nails here. And eventually you'll have some sort of customizable toolbox that'll solve all the problems that you have or that you encounter on a regular basis, obviously, because these are things that are going wrong or needing fixing in your life. So by having a customized toolbox, you'll always be ready for the future when things break. Number six is art or some form of store of value. Now, a lot of you know that I don't buy a lot of artworks. I don't buy a lot of art just for the sake of buying it. If I do have a piece that I truly love, I will do it. I've bought a lot of art from my very close friends. And these are usually artworks that I believe will appreciate in value. Again, this is some sort of a bet. So that's why I say buy something that you do like, not that the general public says will appreciate in value or that majority of people say will appreciate in value. Get something that you do enjoy so that you can also enjoy it while you have it. If you have a piece of art that you love, at least you can look at it and gain something that way. And eventually, maybe in the future, you'll be willing to sell it. And again, it doesn't have to be a specific piece of art. It could be any sort of store of value, whether that's art, some form of collectible, maybe you've got some sort of antique, uh, vintage cars, these sort of things that will appreciate in value. You don't want to buy something that will depreciate and make you lose money. For example, a new car, that is one of the worst investments you can make because it just constantly loses money and you're technically just throwing that money away. It might bring you some enjoyment in the immediate short term and it might impress your friends if that's what you want to do. But personally, that's not what I do. I look for things that can then bring me more money in the future because to me that is the only logical, the smartest sort of thing that I can do. Of course, that is a little bit out of range for some people. The same as buying a house can be a little bit out of range because you do need a large sum of capital at the beginning to buy something that is worth enough money that will then appreciate value in the future. So if that's something you can't buy, don't worry about it just yet. Eventually, you'll be able to buy something like that if you treat your personal finance with respect. Number seven is gym equipment. Now, obviously a lot of us are working out at home and doing a lot of things at home right now. So I haven't had a gym membership for a few months and it's been really good actually. I ended up purchasing a few weights and a few pieces of gym equipment for my home. And in fact, I worked it out if I keep working out at home for just one year, I will have covered my gym expenses and will then be in the positive. So by having a gym membership every single month, you end up wasting a lot of money. A lot of people go to the gym for some sort of mindset and to really get you into the space. But if you can learn to ground yourself and work out from home and get yourself into the zone at home, it will be one of the best savings that you make because you'll have that equipment for years to come and you'll never really have to upgrade it as long as you have some sort of adjustment stability and some sort of kit that you can move around. For example, I got a few different weights, a simple pull-up bar, some dumbbells and a deadlift bar, and that's enough for me to do at home. I can skip, I can cycle, I can run, I can do all the sports I need to do outside and in the safety of my own home right now. And it's been great so far, so I highly recommend that. Next up are products that will save you either time, money, or energy. And I've bundled a lot of these together because they all sort of fit into the same category. And the first thing is a fan. Instead of using the air conditioning in your house to cool your entire house, that can be very expensive on both a installation point of view to have air conditioning installed and an energy point of view. So you could also install solar panels or a solar geyser, which is what I have. So my hot water, when I do need it, is completely powered by the sun. 
Obviously it depends on where you live in the world and what your climate is like, but this has been one of the best investments that I've made. I also do have energy efficient LED light bulbs all throughout my house. I have a water saving shower head and faucet, and these were also mandatory installations in my house thanks to the water crisis that I went through in the country that I live in right now. Uh, a few years ago, we went through a major drought and everyone was forced to cut down on their water expenditure. So I installed energy saving faucets everywhere that I could and that has been great. You don't realize how much water you're wasting until you start saving it. Now that obviously both saves you money and is better for the environment. So next up is an induction stove. While it can cost twice as much as a regular stove, it is much more efficient and will actually save you money. For example, an induction stove gets around 90% efficiency with heating up your food and getting your food cooked. And as soon as you take that part of the pan off of the stove, it turns off so you can't really burn yourself and it doesn't continually heat. So you're saving electricity that way. Whereas a regular stove gets around 60 to 70% efficiency and a gas stove only around 40% efficiency, meaning only 40% of the energy that is coming out of that gas stove goes into your food and cooks it. So that can be a major waste of both energy, money and time. Next is high quality clothing. So over the past few years, I have invested in a very high quality wardrobe. Now I don't mean expensive Gucci fashion, high fashion clothing that is just an absolute waste of money. I'm talking about clothing that is of good quality. As you guys know, I wear very simple plain black clothing, often very simple plain colors. And this clothing is made of high quality material so that I don't have to continually buy new clothing. I can have a very set wardrobe that I wear for a very long period of time and it lasts me for years and is quite timeless. So I don't buy things that are very seasonal and very linked to the fashion industry so that they don't go out of style. Again, I'm not the most stylish person. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is that I buy things that will last and that I'm willing to invest my money in. So again, I'm not gonna buy $100 or $50 t-shirts and I'm not buying $2 t-shirts. I'm buying somewhere in the middle where I can get something that lasts me a long time and feels good as well. Fast, fast internet. Now, again, like I said, saving money is in fact saving time and by having super fast internet, I'm able to save a lot of time waiting for things to upload, download, loading web, web pages, as well as running my businesses. As you guys know, a lot of my business is based online, so I don't have to go into an office, I don't have to drive around, but I can save myself seconds here and there throughout the day by having fast internet, sometimes hours. When I'm uploading large videos like this one, it could take hours on a regular internet connection, by, but by having something that is super fast, I'm able to really speed that up, get it out there and just move on to the next thing. I've also noticed that by having faster internet, it's made my brain work faster. And I completely understand the negative connotation to that, how the internet is speeding up our brains and how it's not good for us. I recently read the book, The Shallows and how the internet is changing our brains. And I completely understand that, but I also believe that by working faster, I'm able to process things a little bit faster and not sit around and wait. I noticed that when the internet is slower or that when I wait for things, I end up getting distracted because I start looking for things to fill up the time in between those wait periods. When if I had faster internet, I could just move on to the next thing and continue with the task that I'm doing. So I highly recommend investing in a stable, fast internet connection. With that as well, you have the tool right in front of you, the internet to start a business that'll make you money for years to come. You can start hundreds of different businesses online right now from home. All you need is your laptop and an internet connection. I can't emphasize this enough or more than I have in the past couple years of my life. I try and get absolutely everyone I meet to start some sort of online business or get, at least look into it and try and invest in it because it will make you money and open up your world to so many possibilities. It has opened up our world to so many possibilities. So if you haven't yet, get that fast internet connection and start learning, start researching, start investing and start growing your mind and your business and your life. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and comment and like, and I'll make more videos like this in the future. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I'm enjoying really making these more talkative, just word vomit type videos that get information out there to you guys. So I hope you like it. And as always, I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.